Now they say watching cartoons isn't good for you and that may well be the case. After binge watching the entire Love Death Robot series on Netflix, my mind was filled with ideas for robot designs. And I also had a ton of plastic bottle tops and stuff that Greta Thunberg would scream How dare you! at me, so I decided to do something about it. I've used this kind of light before on a previous build and wanted to overcomplicate my life by having it in its body. So after a quick nip and tuck, I cut out a hole in the plastic bottle for the light to sit in. And once the hole was cut, I then realized that the base the light came on was magnetized. So I proceeded to prise it out and in the process injure myself because, hey, we all sweat blood and tears for our craft. I then used some scrap XPS foam to bulk out the inside of the body before using all my skill and ingenuity to sit the magnet into the foam and once that was done it was onto the legs. I wanted the robot to look like it had taken a bucket load of steroids, so the stumpy legs came from a cheap water pistol. I just simply cut it down and um, used some foam just to cover the, uh, the inside of the uh, what was now going to be the legs. For its feet, it's going to be nothing special. It was just a couple of uh, cheap plastic spoons that I've just cut up and then just stuck to the bottom of the water pistol stumpy legs. Now because I'd already deduced that it would be front heavy with the heavy light I had to counteract that and used blue tack stuffed into the ping pong ball shoulders that would make Joan Collins envious. And once the shoulders were on, I just uh, added some more greebles by using some drain cleaner pipe um, just to put on the legs, just to give it some sort of uh, shape and texture. Once all that was done, I then cut out uh, a bottle at an angle to give it more shape and because I thought it looked cool.
Next came the arms, which were from a variety of uh, beads, stuck together with garden wire. The fingers of the robots were made from very tiny little beads which I found in a pack, surprisingly, uh, in the shops uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I just made them uh, and then attached them to the, uh, to the arms. I then realized that the, the fingers actually looked like they were like a monster but hey, you know, at least they were on. Did a quick test fit, everything seemed all right. And then it was on to adding the uh, lettering onto the tube. These are uh, cheap and cheerful, um, self-adhesive letters that you can get in the craft shop. And um, I wasn't bothered that they were gold because I'm gonna paint over them um, shortly. And then to give things more of a uh, little shape and to make it not look like ping pong balls, I just used a thin foam for the shoulders and added various greebles before it was time to paint, which I just used a rattle can and just pr with a primer of grey. because it was a police robot. Blue and yellow, um, which seems more topical now than uh, before when I built this, uh, was the choice colors. Um, blue went on easy, no problem. The yellow, not so much. The yellow took about eight coats before it gave me a nice sort of base coat. And add to the fact that I'm still having flashbacks from my submarine build which will still haunt my life. And if you've not seen that one either, then I strongly advise you to subscribe to the channel so you can see what I'm talking about. Once the uh, paint was done, I then went around with a, uh, my favorite uh, bit of kit, which is the silver Sharpie, and just added um, silver outlines to anything that I thought would get um, scratched uh, or damaged. And then started to peel off the transfers, so then it would reveal the numbers on the, uh, on the robot.
and once everything was dry I added a rust using a sponge raided from my other house makeup kit uh, before it was time for the glamour shots uh, so I hope you enjoyed this build it actually came out exactly how I imagined it so please leave a, a thumbs up share and subscribe if you've not already as over 60% of my views come from non subscribers which is baffling because watching is free and so is subscribing uh, and on that note I'll catch you all on the next build and remember keep scratching that build everybody